ークスタートはい、では、皆さん、どうぞ。Um, so this video is not a Project Eva video, which all of my other videos are. So I actually just recently moved into a new apartment for school related things, so any background noise will be that. Um, this video is covering um, that, what you just saw. Um, I'm a big anime fan, and Sword Art. Probably at least season one was probably my favorite show. So I was thinking of making a new desktop background for my computer、uh, just the other day, and I stumbled across a real interesting thing. First, I got onto like DeviantArt and I found some people who had made a few little sword art assets,、um, like these、uh, the login circles、um, and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. But as I was browsing, I found something really interesting, and that would be、uh, this. Right here,、uh, what you saw logging in. It's、uh, called the Sword Art Utilities or SAO Utilities.、Um, I'll have like links and nonsense to everything in the、um, description. But what this does is I got rid of all the icons on my desktop and I basically just set it up so that I can run my entire desktop and computer without needing any icons at the start menu or anything like that. So What the utilities does is it's basically the Sword Art Online interface,、um, except for your computer, which is cool. It's really customizable. So、um, here's a little picture I made.、Uh, I jokingly called this the、uh, SAO OS version 1.0.3.、Um, I, I wrote a little blurb down here.、Uh, this OS is specifically, de specifically designed to allow you to experience the SAO interface while integrating your personal computing experience. Seeing as though I'm the only person who's going to see this, it doesn't really matter, but I thought it added like, a nice little, nice little、uh, feel to it and everything.、Um, other than that, some of the stuff that、uh, works on the desktop is you have your HP bar and secondary HP bar up here. Um, the levels and stuff actually go up as you just use the program. Like throughout the day, you'll realize you get to a higher level. I think that's kind of nifty. To my knowledge, it resets every time you close and open the program right now. But、uh, so you got your date and time up here. It's、um, 24 hour clock. You can't change that. Now, if you click and hold on things, it will bring up、um, little menus that let you customize what it is. So, you know, Miko, that's. My name and everything, but、uh, you can have refresh intervals for、um, this, and I'll explain what that is here, and the extra information if you,、um, you know, want it or not. So, what this is, is I'm on a desktop, so this isn't really, this, do, this top bar doesn't really mean anything, but it's actually my battery life bar. So, if I was on a tablet, which I'm planning on getting a tablet here pretty soon and sticking this on because it'll be super amazing. Um, with like a whole touch screen interface and everything, that'll be really cool.、Uh, or if you're on a laptop, this will actually go down with your battery so you have a cool visual way to see your battery. And then below that, you can change this if you want it to be something else.、Um, I changed it to my hard drive space, how much extra space I have.、Uh, gray is used, green is, you know,、uh, open. I have a terabyte, as you can see. I don't really use that much space, I don't have that much stuff on my computer. Um, other than that,、uh, down here you have、uh, this button, which is your system monitor. It's effectively just,、uh, you, it gives you a little bit of information that your task manager would.、Um, your like, CPU usage here.、Uh, mine's hopping around because I'm using Fraps to record this, and you know, Fraps does Fraps things. And then it also shows you how much of your RAM you're using, so.、Um, pretty, pretty handy there. Um, these, these dots and these, like,、uh, the HP bar can be moved wherever you want on the、um, screen. I don't really want to move them because I'm very happy with where they are.、Um, the little plus button just instantaneously opens up a.、Um, a uh, just an explorer window.、Um, and the little button also opens up this. Um, that's, that's nifty for a couple different reasons because I have it set up so that if I middle mouse click and drag down, it will open up the,、um, the menu. There's also the、uh, hotkey Windows key S that I'm using right now to open that up.、Uh, mostly 
this is a very 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 touch friendly um, interface so I just use the mouse and I just gesture it's very simple um, first things first I'm gonna go into the just the options for the actual utilities tool and go over a couple things now um, these things, uh, the long press timeout would be when I'm editing something, I have to hold and click to um, uh, have it edit that to change it if you want it to be normal, long, or short. I find normal is fine if you want it so that it's um, long so that when you're not editing things, um, it, you won't accidentally do it. You can do that. I found, again, normal is fine. Lock launcher just makes it so you can't get into the settings, and I'm always noticing a thing that I can change here or something I can change there. Uh, show tool tips. Um, I left it on for a little while. Again, I only found this like a day ago or something like that. But I've already just, I don't need it. I know what I'm doing. Uh, touch friendly. I don't have a touch screen. I'll use that later. And then here's the enable mouse gestures, uh, middle mouse plus slide down. I have it on sensitivity high. That way it's real, it's real just quick, easy. I don't have to drag my mouse in, across the entire screen. And then there's the uh, Windows key plus S that, um, you know, if you want that, you can totally have that. Um, other than that, I have this run up with Windows because obviously I don't have any icons or anything on my computer. So I'm just completely using this as a new interface. Um, check for updates and verbose mode. So I'm not really 100% on what verbose mode does. Again, I didn't really read any instructions. I was just kind of playing with it and figured all this out. Um, appearance, background density. I'll I can just show you what that is right now. Whenever you drag this down, the uh, screen grays a little bit. Uh, that is your background density. Um, if you make it 100%, it will be like just a pure black screen with these little icons on it. Didn't like that, so pick somewhere in the middle. Um, other things, when I draw, drag this down, you can still see my um, HP bar, but you can't see the rest of it. Uh, that's actually a setting in here where you can hide when launcher is showing. Um, because of the way I have my background designed, and I made this background yesterday too, specifically for these tools, I had to have that because if you notice there's kind of this gray backdrop to this, and what it was is the HUD actually doesn't have a gray backdrop. I mean, I can show you that if I hide when I do this and I drag down, you can see it's just these gray blocks which look kind of ugly. So basically I want to always show this so that you can't see those ugly gray blocks. Um, the reason I did that is because this is actually transparent white, uh, like it is in the show, and the issue was that is on a white background that is like impossible to see, so I added a um, gray backdrop on that, and just, you know, Photoshop, that's what I made my background on, and um, that makes that infinitely easier to see. So anyways, back into the options, um, that's what the uh, background density is now, the launcher position can be fixed or follow cursor. I prefer fixed, though I know a lot of people prefer follow cursor uh, for the few other videos that I found on this. The reason I prefer fixed is um, whenever I drag this down, it always appears in the same place. I really like that because I know where to expect everything. Um, if it's follow cursor, it will, like if I dragged over here, it would appear over there. I don't want that though because of the way I organized my menus. The way I organize my menus, I'll go over here in a second and why that's an issue, but for now, I will just, I like it fixed. Uh, animation speed, normal, sign, um, startup animation, you guys saw that, I like that. Link, start, oh, yeah, I like that. So, um, notifications and stuff, I do not have the plugin use, using that turned on because I'm crazy, no. Um, display mode, layered, fine, compatible, don't worry about it. Um, sound, enable sounds, I like them, I like all the sword art sounds, you don't have to have them, they're cool. Now the plugins, the ones I don't use, um, Bangumi, I, it was there, it ran up, it was in Chinese, cause the developer for this was, is Chinese, um, I didn't mess with it, didn't, wasn't really particularly useful, turn it off. This one I kind of like, but because of the, um, <clears throat> look I was going for for not needing the, um, the taskbar, I didn't want this. This is Yui, um, you know, your um, mental health uh, program that, if you're a Sword Art fan, makes perfect sense to you. Um, basically what it does is, down here, it will pop up little, you know, in your notification section. 
it will pop up little things that are like, oh, hey, how are you doing today? And uh, the, the, the reason, I didn't mind that, but when I decided that I wanted to get rid of my taskbar, I had to turn it off. And the other thing is it will also just tell you things about the program, like um, right now they're having a contest for someone to draw a um, character sprite to uh, work with this. Instead of just being a little text box, it will it'll probably have its own interface at some point, and maybe then I'll turn it back on if it's its own separate interface. Uh, HP bars, yes, you want HP bars. Um, image widget, haven't messed with that. I think it's probably if I'm um, opening or closing image files, it just leave it on. It hasn't caused me any issues. Uh, mailbox, I have this off. I will show you what it does here in a second. Um, quick launcher and system monitor. That would be these down here. I'm perfectly happy with those. Don't worry about it. So if I, if I save, you can see this little mail blip up here. Now you can move this wherever you want. I just have it kind of just chilling down here because I don't care about it. If I click it, um, you can actually set up your email address to um, basically, it'll pop up the little chat box from Sword Art Online and tell you if you got a new email and you can send emails from that too. You can make it so that it'll um, you know, signature sent from blah blah blah, um, and that's pretty cool. Uh, I I don't care. I don't need it to show my email. Um, other thing I'll just show you right now is this button. You can't you can't edit. It's an immortal object for Sword Art fans. You can't do that with the uh, settings either. But in here, this is just your um, your plugins editor. So you can instantaneously turn on and off plugins to that. You don't have to go into the um, system settings every single time. Uh, other than that, there's about, um, psh, look, there's links. I will post those in the description. Don't worry about it. Um, so th those are the kind of just the overall settings for this. It's got a help menu. I don't think I've ever clicked on that. What does it do? Oh, it just tells you to go there and it tells you information about it. Um, now, so if I go over kind of